Yo, yo, Mr. Polly here, and I'm with my two helpers from 3A. Please introduce yourselves. My name is Luisha. My name is Abdullah in 3A. Nice. Yes. So these guys are going to be talking with me about food from their home countries. Now, Lumisha here is from Nepal, yes. so she'll be talking about Nepali food. And Abdullah is from Bangladesh, so he'll be talking about Bangladeshi food. So that's very, very cool. Now, you see how much of a professional video maker I am here. <laughs> okay. So it looks like uh, we've got our... Bangladeshi food here. Now you said you'd only tried a few of these before, right? So this one is fish, fish curry. Do you have lots of curry in 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 Bangladesh? Yeah. Lots. No, of I, everyone like it. You don't? Well, I like it. You do? How how spicy is it usually? In it's not spicy. No, just like what's it? Fragrant. It's good. Cool. See, so you guys have to bring some for me now. <laughs> this one you said you tried before, right? It's yeah, uh, biryani, right? Yeah. Have you tried it with this meat before? No. Before, no. no? What, what meats have you had uh, biryani with? Like chicken. Mm, okay. So when you have uh, biryani in Bangladesh, do you usually have bones in the meat or are the bones taken out? Bone. They're still bone. Oh. And then they throw it. When you finish the chicken, then they throw it. I the see. Stick. So, like, when you're eating Chinese food, I don't know if you know this, you usually put the bones inside your mouth and then you spit them out afterwards. What? what? Because you're using chopsticks, right? Like, if it's small bones, like a chicken wing, you can just <laughs> spit them out. Or if you're eating, like, um, like knuckles one. or something, or ribs. Mm. Do you do that in Bangladesh? No. Okay, so if you've got a, a chicken leg, how would you eat it? No. You don't know? Okay. Lumi, how about in Nepal? What do you do with bones? Mm, you just, um, just spit them out. You spit them out as well? Okay, interesting. Where do you spit them out? Onto your plate or onto the table? Um, or in the, the tissue. tissue. In the rubbish is good, a tissue. So you yeah. guys are, are polite eaters then. That's great. Okay, how about... Oh, this one's got no picture. I don't want to look at ones with no picture. Uh, this one looks like another... What's baji? Dim baji. You don't know? Okay. I've tried this before. Sh uh, shik kebab, right? So it's like meat on a stick. Have you tried no. this before? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you said you had this dal before, right? Yeah. So what does that taste like? It's like sweet. It's sweet. So is it a dessert? Yeah. Okay. So good. My mom makes it. Your mom makes it. How long does it take to make? I don't know. You just eat the food, you don't help with it. Oh! No. <laughs> no. So what ingredients are in this then? Oh no, because I don't cook. <laughs> Do you have something similar in Nepal, Lamisha? Mm. Um, it's like that. It's like that? Yes. Who makes it in your family then? My mom. Do you know anything about what goes in it? No. See, this is what we're learning here is that you guys need to help your mums around more. Otherwise, when you get older and you're not living with your mum, who's going to make it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so this is another Bangladesh. Stop me if you see anything you tried. Okay. Fuchka. This one looks nice. They look like... Yeah. What is it? Like noodle balls or something. I want to try this one. They look like bunny buddy. What's it's that? A, it's a Nepali food. What's it called? Bunny buddy. Bunny buddy. Bunny buddy. <laughs> bunny buddy. <laughs> okay. What what is uh what are they then? Um like they're like circles. Mm -hmm. They're very hard, but they can easily crack. We put like some soup on it and oh. then eat it. Okay. What's it made of? Mm -hmm. Like biscuit or bread? Um, I don't know. We just make it. Okay. Seems like there's loads of kinds of food that I haven't tried yet. I tried this. This one? Yeah. What's, how do you say this? Kojila, I think. Kojila? Oh, this was, looks like Kolija here on the screen. Sorry, you can't see me where I'm pointing here, can you, the viewers? <laughs> okay. So do you make these at home or is it something you buy outside, usually? Sometimes, last time we make it, mm. but sometimes we in like, like another program and then my dad bring it. Okay. These ones are nice. Uh, if I see these outside, I'll buy them because they're very tasty. Inside, there's a vegetable. What, is it potato inside? No, like samosa. They look like samosa. They yeah, do. Samosa. They look a bit like samosa. Yeah. I thought that's what they were. I thought it was just 
the you have a, a different language in Bangladesh, right? Yeah. Mm, I thought that was just Kalicha is maybe samosa. Is it the same mm. word? Nope. No. No. Okay. Halim. Halim. Oh, I'll tell you, this one looks really tasty to me. Yeah. This one, what's it called? Rosho Gola, it says. It says sweet, sticky. I know, I tried this. Before. I tried that one before as well. It's so nice. I tried the brown one also. What are the brown ones? Brown ones are sweet also. Because <gasps> I went to my, my friend's wedding and uh, he was from uh, India and they have something similar to this there, right? And uh, I said, like, oh, what are these? And then I had to stop myself because I knew I would just eat those for the rest of the <laughs> day, right? <laughs> cool. So do you guys want to have a look at some uh, Nepali food? Yes. yes. Cool. Okay. So, oh, let's scroll back up to the top, shall we? Yes. Here we got dalbat. Yes. This one. What, what is good. dalbat then? Um, it's like we pour it in soup. There's rice and we like eat it with our hands. You eat it with your hands? Yes. Me oh. too. That sounds kind of mucky. Yeah, we wash our hands first. That makes sense, yeah. yeah. So what about all the like gloopy bits, like the soup and stuff? Mm. How do you eat that we with your hands? So we pour mm. it into the rice. Oh, okay. That sounds nice. So what stuff comes with it? It's like rice and then it says mm. soup and curry? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. Momos. Have you tried momos? No. Oh, they're so nice. I had these one time because there was a Nepali restaurant down in Jordan, right? Mm -hmm. And I went there and I had momos. They're so nice. Who makes momos in your house, Sam? Mm, my mom. Your mom makes momos? Yes. Can you say that ten times fast? Momos, momos, momos. No, mom makes momos. Mom makes momos. <laughs> mom makes momos. <laughs> Very cool. Mm -hmm. What's inside momos, Sam? Mm, it's like vegetables. Oh, okay. Do you have meat meat momos? Does mum make meat momos? Yes. <laughs> Does mum make many meat momos? Yes. <laughs> Does mum make many meat momos Monday? Mm, yes. <laughs> Can you say that? Mum makes very <laughs> much meat momos in Monday. <laughs> That's we make our own momo tongue twister. Cool. War or bara? Yeah. What I is this one this. then? It's very like hard. One. Crunchy mm. and it's very yummy. Yeah. Oh, it says it's from uh, Kathmandu, right? Yes. Is that the part? It's the capital of Nepal. Yes. Is that the part of uh, Nepal you're from? Mm, nope. Okay. I don't um, know. I'm any from Bhutan. Bhutan. West Nepal. Okay. So is this a food that you can only eat near Kathmandu, or can you eat it in Bhutan as well? We can eat in Bhutan also. Okay. Uh, yes, sell roti. You said you yeah. tried this one as well, right? Yes, it's so yeah. yummy. What is it? A donut? It says it's a donut. Yeah, it's like a donut. Okay, what's what's different about it to a donut? Mm, it's very big. How big is it? Like this big. What? Yes, it cannot be like this big. It's really like this, this big. Yeah, like this okay, big. Okay, so I know Sometimes what you do with these, right? Well, you, you go to the uh, fun fair. And then there'll be like a, a fish bowl, and you throw this, and if it goes over the no. fish bowl, you get to take the fish bone. Is that right? No. Nope. Okay. It does look like a hoop, though, doesn't it? You make it out or of a basketball. What's it make? What's inside it? Mm. Is it just donut? <laughs> it's just like mm, I think they put. I don't know. Is it sweet or savory? Very sweet. Huh. And also very yummy. Do you know what I find amazing? It just shows how wonderful the, the whole world is. Every mm. single country around the world made their own donut. <laughs> 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 Do you have a, a, a similar thing to donuts in Bangladesh? No. Nothing? Know. Do you have any like fried bread stuff? Yeah. What do you call it? I don't know. Like, I don't know. You don't like them? I don't know what is it. I forgot the name. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. Samosa. 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 Yes. What's this very, here though? There's like very um, um I don't know. Okay. There's uh, um vegetables in samosa. Mm -hmm. It's no, very I good. Like, I know what are those. They're maybe like blender the vegetable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I know. Everything. See, finally we found something Abdullah can cook. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make the skin of the samosa then? Um, I don't know. My mom just buys it. Oh, and then you like put the stuff inside and fold it yourself, right? Yeah. How do you, how do you cook it's, it? We 
We buy it like this and we eat it like that. We buy it like this and eat it like that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, no. I, I asked her if she tried this before and she said, no, I'm very pleased. You're married. This one looks tasty, but you guys mm. don't know what it was. Mm. I don't know. That looks tasty I though. I've never this tried that. I've mm. never seen it. Gundruk. Nope. It says this is the national food of Nepal, right? Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you should uh, ask your mum and dad about this one. Okay. Oh, no. What do you mean? Oh, no, it's fine. This is just us switching back. Okay, oh, cool. Okay. So, I hope that, because we can't see it while we were looking at the website, I hope everyone was on camera all the time. Yes. That's my main worry. Number two, I think if you know any other food from your countries, that, uh, if you're from Nepal or from Bangladesh that we didn't talk about, then you can tell us about it. And if you saw some food on here that you haven't tried before, you can go up to your mum and dad and be like, Yo! How come you <laughs> never let me try this food? Okay. Also, there's like a, um, a food like tortilla. It's very yummy. What's it called? Um, I forgot. Is it tortilla? Are you Mexican it's secretly? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this is, this is very nice as well. Eh? So you can try food from all over the world now. I'm actually, you guys made me super hungry now. <laughs> so let's do an, an outro now shall we yeah. so uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, please remember to uh, like and subscribe I'm told the notification doesn't work on my channel I don't know why mm. so do you guys want to say anything yes sheesh I'm going to cut that out <laughs> Abdullah do you want to say anything no. you don't want to make a silly noise oh <laughs> <laughs>